Hey colleagues, this is a routine phacom calcification procedure. Let us see the surgical steps. This is the main incision, 2.8 millimeter. One side port incision is made on the right side of the main incision, and this is air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens. In this case. It facilitates and makes capsular access easy. The dye is washed out immediately after 5-6 seconds. The cornea was not very clear in this case. That's why I used this dye. Now viscoelastic substance is used to fill up the anterior chamber. This is HBMC. One more paracentesis incision is made on the left side of the main incision. These paracentesis incisions are about two to two and a half clock hours away from the main incision. Now the anti-capsule has been incised and a capsular tag has been raised. This capsular tag is healed with the hydrate of forceps and with this anti-clockwise movements. A continuous curvilinear capsular axis is done. I try to remain at equal distance from the margin of the dilated people and thus I get a fairly round head axis. The posterior leaf of the main incision has been depressed. Some amount of viscoelastic substance came out and then I did hydrodissection. The nucleus is depressed and the nucleus is rotated. The nucleus sclerosis in this case could be grade 3. And in such cases it is very easy to do direct job. There it is. I am inside with the tip of the FECO handpiece. At this time the view is not very clear. The FECO tip has been embedded into the nucleus and this is the first job. The nucleus is rotated and it is chopped at this place. Rotated again, the other hemineucleus is also chopped. So in this case, the nucleus has been divided into four almost equal fragments. Now each fragment is emulsified and removed. Faco power in this case is 70. Flow rate is 50 and vacuum is 500 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Caterex 3 FECO machine. The flow rate is maximum 50 in this machine. Vacuum is 500 and I found that the antechamber is very stable in this setting. Bottle height was about 5 feet above the patient's eye. Now the cortical lens matter is being removed by a Simco cannula. Most of the cortical matter has been removed through the main incision. Now through the side port I remove the rest and the posterior capsule appears quite clean in this case and doesn't need much of polishing. And this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens being implanted under irrigation. See the 
irrigating probe supports the lens and places the lens in the capsular bag. Now the lens is dialed by the irrigating probe. It comes now through the main incision. I go behind the eye well and irrigate that area. There is no viscoelastic substance now in the anterior chamber. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are also hydrated. Now this is the final wash. See what happens when I use, when I direct the fluid towards the endothelium. Viscoelastic substance that was sticking to the endothelium got dislodged and it came out. That's it. Case is done. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much for your attention.